And, you know, it, 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 it seems to me that there are, you know, there are moments in history. Um, it was that you, someone today was talking to me about Clackwood Sound. And, uh, there are moments in history when it's clear that our governments have failed us. And, um, and they're being unduly influenced by one sector, one industry. They're no longer acting in the public good. And um, it's clear that our, it, it, what we're seeing is that the oil industry has a real stranglehold on, um, on, um, on our policy, uh, on our policies and on our laws. And, and that's why I think it makes it even more incredible when we do see um, governments and elected leaders um, standing up and saying no, even in the face of criticism. And I was noticing as we were talking that a couple of um, unexpected guests who have very busy schedule these days snuck into the back of the room. And I'm wondering if I might just encourage them to come up and say a couple of words as well, because um, standing at the back of the room is Mayor Gregor Robertson. And you have taken an incredible stand against the Kinder Morgan pipeline. Come on up. Um, you might want to say a couple of words. I would love to say a few words. <laughs> Thanks, Sephora. Hi, everyone. It's, uh, it's an honor to be here, and it was fantastic to listen to this panel uh, lay out the facts. Uh, so I would encourage everyone to give a big hand to this uh, esteemed group of leaders. And uh, yeah, it was, it was uh, so we, we've been out uh, campaigning. There is a civic election happening right now. In case you hadn't noticed, Saturday is uh, election day officially. Um, and so we've been working hard on that front, but we did uh, slip in. We missed the screening, but managed to catch the panel and, uh, and the questions, which were very illuminating. We've, we've been spending a lot of time on this as a team. Um, Councillor Andrea Reimer really leading the charge on behalf of council at City Hall and Nikki Sharma on the park board side of things, although we're trying, now we're trying to get Nikki into our council team uh, in this election. But we have made this a huge priority for our, our city because the city of Vancouver, our residents, our businesses are directly affected by the Kinder Morgan proposal and the related oil tankers. And we have huge concerns about the impact on Vancouver and our future. We have had a strong partnership with Tsleil-Waututh and Squamish and Musqueam, our First Nations here. Uh, we've been working in partnership with Burnaby and uh, lots of uh, discussions with other affected local governments around uh, the South Coast here in particular, obviously watching closely what happened uh, up north with uh, Enbridge Northern Gateway and all the communities that uh, organized and raised their concerns there. So what's been really scary is to see uh, a, a very clear separation happen in this election campaign and we've seen uh, basically uh, looks like money and people from the oil industry, oil and gas, uh, from the Harper government, uh, one of uh, Stephen Harper's main, main people, uh, Dmitry Panazopoulos, is a key player in uh, the camp. I don't think I can mention any party names. Well, we'll just keep this all uh, generic, just to be on the safe side, That's respecting uh, <laughs> the politics. Know. Well, <laughs> name names. Okay, <laughs> so the, the NPA, or Nonpartisan Association, <laughs> has uh, at their core uh, one of the key players from the Harper administration, uh, historically, uh, doing uh, their mastermind strategy. And uh, we don't have any doubts that there is big oil behind the campaign, uh, basically on the right, a, a very big conservative push to, uh, to take power uh, in Vancouver. And they're fine, their, their line on this is they're fine with the National Energy Board making a decision here and trusting the Harper government with uh, Kinder Morgan's proposal. We're uh, anything but that, and we've made that very clear. Uh, what we're finding uh, most challenging here is that they're both in the, the NEB process, uh, which, which we are challenging legally. There's no consideration of climate change. We've challenged that in the courts. There's no consideration of the, the negative economic impact on the city of Vancouver, where we have 30,000 people working in tourism. We have uh, an entire economy basically growing and thriving that's related to Vancouver being a clean and green city and a global reputation and brand that, that is, uh, is based on, on that reputation. So we see enormous downside to this uh, for the city of Vancouver. And uh, as a result, we've been fighting hard to make sure that 
the people's interests in Vancouver are represented, wh whether that's the NEB process or through the courts as, as we can challenge that. But we're uh, really thankful for all the leadership that's in this room, lots of familiar faces, lots of uh, action being taken. It's, uh, it's gonna be really critical over the months to come that we stand strong and uh, as Doug said, that there's solidarity here. And uh, it's really gonna be a, a challenge for us all, I think, given the circumstances. There's a full court press coming and we're certainly living through that right now with only a couple days left in an election that now the, the papers are saying it's too close to call. So uh, somehow we've ended up in a, in a real battle for uh, City Hall, Park Board and School Board in Vancouver. And, uh, and the Kinder Morgan proposal is right in the middle of all that. And the media have said repeatedly, there are no big issues in this election, it's a boring election. So there's been, a, a, I think, a very purposeful uh, wet blanket that's been thrown over the civic election uh, to try and mute this and pretend that it's not a big issue for Vancouver when in fact it's, it's quite the opposite. So uh, really thankful, uh, you know, as we work really hard to be the greenest city in the world by 2020 and we've shown that as a city we can organize, we can rally and we can make uh, huge gains as a city to be a greener city and inspire other cities around the world to do the same despite national governments, state and provincial governments dragging their feet, cities are taking direct action on the front lines dealing with climate and a lot of this work is happening uh, day to day in cities and when we have a Kinder Morgan proposal come along like this, it will absolutely dwarf and wipe out all of the work that we're trying to do as a city to be more sustainable and, and sensitive to our future. So that's why we see this as an enormous threat and we're hopeful that uh, we have a positive outcome on Saturday and we can continue this work to fight back and make sure that this is not, Vancouver is not becoming an oil port rather than the greenest city in the world that uh, this is a huge, huge uh, showdown for our city and we're hopeful that people of Vancouver recognize that how important this is and that we use every tool at, that we can to make sure on all fronts, uh, uh, activism and advocacy, uh, governance, legal challenges, whatever we can do to make sure that this does not happen and that our future is on a very different course that is far more sustainable and ecologically minded. So uh, thank you so much for all your leadership and we'll look forward to working together in future. Thank you.